So once again, I've I've literally just put my uh, so once again I've just put my preset onto these images. You can see the cold tones throughout this. I have shot these um, with a quite a cold white balance uh, in camera, uh, purposely, just because the the surface of the top of the 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 surface at the the surface I was shooting on was blue. This is just a wardrobe or set of drawers, and and uh, uh, this is just a set of drawers in my house. The wedding rings are my wife's, and uh, I just lifted one of her shoes, and I'm shooting just on the toe of that. I was shooting at 1.8 here. You can see that everything is out of focus. Uh, they recommend that you lens baby recommend that you do shoot wide open with these. Um, I read that before and of, of course that makes sense to us as well. Um, so uh, I'm just going to flick through here a wee bit. I've, I haven't taken too many images. I've, I've just uh, done a, a select few. Obviously I was using a 55 1.8 lens. This is not a macro lens. I do have, the only macro lens I have actually is a lens, maybe a lens of 50. 56mm velvet lens, I use that as a macro simply because it's not that big like I only use it in certain situations so there's no point me spending like two grand or you know even one thousand pound on a macro lens whenever I only use it you know once in a wedding day uh, for the likes of the wedding rings. Of course I do use the, the lens for some portraits um, but uh, you know, I, I, there's no point in me buying a macro lens because I literally don't use it that much. Um, so I use the the 56 uh, lens, baby one. Um, all my all my prime lenses then I use for shooting and a wedding are Sony. Um, I'm using the 1.8 versions, which are the more the less expensive versions. And to be honest, they're amazing lenses. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to flick through here quickly. I obviously I'm not shooting up close with these. Because I'm not using a macro lens, but uh, see, to be honest, on some wedding days, just for purpose of time, I will just do something uh, with the 55 lens on, uh, simply because, or even the 35 at times, simply because I'm I'm up for up against time, and I just end up getting quite a bit done. There's only a few shots I use here, so uh, yeah, I'm just shooting on top of a blue. A wardrobe and a cupboard in my bedroom. I'm just shooting on top of a blue set of drawers in my bedroom, and I'm just shooting. I'm just shooting on top of a blue set of drawers, uh, the window to the right of the shot and a white wall behind, and I am using the seahorse on the Omni, which, to be honest, I first off is pretty cool. The you can see the mirrored effect is doubling up or even tripling up the 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 shoe in the background so all that negative space there really starts becoming interesting and you know if I was just shooting normal with the lens like that would be a pretty boring shot but you can see what the the Omni is doing there I'm shooting with the light to the right hand side of the image um, and I've been using my focus point at the very bottom corner for all these shots simply because I'm trying to get the effect of the Omni across the, the rest of the shot. I'm just thinking about a wedding album here, like I shoot for a wedding album so this is uh, perfect. You generally I'm not putting massive photographs into the wedding album for, for the wedding ring so this is perfect. I can use these um, you'd even use this as a full spread because of the interesting effect. But I was just playing around with the the wand, m moving it, uh, turning it. I I did, as I said, I did have two on there. But to be honest, I only used the one for most of it. I tried to use the mirrored one at the end uh, for a few shots, but uh, to be honest, it was fine just using the one. So the seahorse, uh, I believe, is really really good. I obviously haven't compared it to all the other ones yet, but it is very, very good. Um, I I had a light. I was using a, a Photix LED light, which you can change the color temperature on. Um, even though I was shooting cold, I added in warm light here. You can see um, I haven't cropped this, but I could crop this in just to make it that wee bit more 
and resin. Uh, see what we can do here. Just giving another effect. We're using the light. It just goes to show you, like you don't need really expensive equipment. Do you know I used to have to, you know, I'm thinking on wedding days, I'm like constantly setting things up in front of my lens, like. You know, if I can find two bottles of perfume in the bride's house, I would be setting those side by side and shooting through the gap in the middle. Uh, or, you know, finding wine glasses in the house to shoot through, different things like that. With this, uh, that eliminates the need to go and look for stuff. I can just pop these wee attachments onto the end of the lens, which is really easy to do, and shoot away. So that's very, very good. But anyway, um, I'm just going to edit a wee bit more here. You can see I've missed focus there actually. Um, I'm just going to edit a wee bit more here and um, in fact no, I'll, I'll talk you through this. So I had the light sitting on its end pointing toward the shoe and I have just shot from above here. So I have, you can see what I've done. Um, I think I actually used the mirrored one a wee bit in this. Um, but you can see the effect I've got there by shooting from above. Sorry, I'm cropping that the wrong way. That's it. Um, the light is just down here. The light is pointing this way. I'm just going to darken this down a wee bit. And you can see the effects that the Omni has done here. It's really, really good. In fact, that wasn't the mirrored one. That was the, that was the, that was the, that was the seahorse again, actually. So it was. But really good. I'm so impressed with this. You know, it brings a wee bit of life back into your shooting. It's great getting new equipment and for, for all that I paid for this, like for the two of these uh, sets, I bought both sets and it came to I think £130. Um, I ordered it off Wix photo video and it was here in two days, even in the lockdown. So I'm really excited here now to get shooting with the boys and uh, with the dog and stuff. So. Yeah, very good. Okay, I'm just going to finalise a few wee bits. I'll show you my slideshow and uh, a slideshow of the images that I've produced out of this uh, small shoot and I'll come back to you just to finish off. Thank you. Thank you. 